Hello Prep 1, uh, today we will take uh, the Unit 1, Lesson 2, Comparing and Ordering the Rational Numbers. Warm up your prime, your Prep 1, uh, write each mixed number as an improper fractions. 1 with 3 over 4, we change into improper fractions, remember with me. Denominator time 1 plus 3, 4 time 1 plus 3, okay? Denominator time whole number plus numerator, 4 time 1 plus 3 equal 7 over 4, okay? We write the same denominator, okay? 4 time 1 plus 3, 7 over 4. Another example. Sorry. 8 times 2 plus 7. 8 times 2 plus 7. Okay? Then, equal 23 over 8. Another example. Number 3. 6 times 1 plus, plus 5. 6 times 1 plus 5. Then, 6 times 1 equals 6 plus 5 equals what? Equal 11 over 6. Now, the last examples. 12 times 8 plus 1. 12, 12 times 8 plus 1. Equal 97 over 12. 97 over 12. Now, which is the greater? Which is greater? 7 over 9 or 2 over 9. This is two fractions. We won't compare between them. We studied this lesson in the primary 4 and primary 5 and primary 6. When two fractions have the same denominator, just compare the numerator. Now, 7 over 9 more than or greater than 2 over 9. My equal denominator. Because 7 greater than 2. Then 7 over 9 greater than 2 over 9. We studied this lesson before. Compare the fractions where a right less than or more than. 7 over 9 and four over, uh, 5 over 8. Now we have uh, equal numerator, of course no. Equal denominator? Of course, no. Then, which step we are used? The LCM of the denominator 9 and 8 is a 72. Type. Okay, then should be equivalent denominator before start compare between different fractions. We can compare, Aslan, between two fractions if the denominator Huh? are different. Then, write equivalent fractions with a 72 as the denominator. 7 over 9 equal, we want an equivalent of denominator. Who is the LCM? 9 times nine time 8 equals 72. Then, 7 times 8 over 9 times 8. Okay? 7 times 8 equals 56 over 72. Another fraction, 5 over 8 should be multiplied denominator which number, multiply by which number equals 72, multiply by 9. Then 8 times 9, where 5 times 9. 5 times 9 equals 40, 5 over 9 times 8 equals 72. Then the two fractions are equal denominator, then we can compare between them. Compare the numerators. Okay, then 56 over 72 more than 45 over 72 at prep 1. Uh, uh, this is the property of fractions. Yani, uh, remember with me, if we multiply denominator with any number, should be multiplying numerator with the same number. The next fractions, the same property. We use the property of fractions. Okay, if we multiply the 
the numerator with, num with number should be multiplied the numerator with the same numbers. Okay? That's meaning uh, we multiply uh, both a numerator and denominator with eight. This is the property of fractions. Then if we can equivalent denominator, then we can uh, compare between a denominator. Uh, sorry, we can, if we can equivalent a denominator, we can compare between a numerator. Then 56 more than 45. Then 7 over 9 greater than 5 over 8. Fine. Compare the fractions, right, greater than or uh, less than or equal. Now, negative 2 over 5 or negative 3 over 7. Okay, before start answer, ask yourself, this is huh, equal denominator or equal denominator? Of course, no. Both fractions can be written with a denominator of 35. Then, huh, 5 times 7 equal 35. Then we can multiply denominator with what? Which uh, with time? Which number equal 35? Okay. Write equivalent fractions with a 35 as a denominator. Put the negative sign in the numerators. Don't forget, please, don't forget uh, a negative sign. Okay. Negative 2 over 5 equal negative. Huh? We multiply numerator and denominator, multiply by 7. We uh, said before, in, uh, if we multiply the denominator with number, should be multiplied numerator with the same number. Then, negative 2 times 7 over 5 times 7 equal negative 14 over 35. Fine. Another fraction, negative 3 over 7, multiply numerator, multiply numerator, multiply by what? Huh? 2 uh, equal uh, 35 multiply by 5 then 3 negative 3 times 5 over 7 times 5 equal negative 15 over 35 now we can compare between them okay negative 14 over 35 more than negative 15 over 35 this is a integer number or negative numbers okay now uh, Negative 2 over 5 more than negative 3 over 7. This example, compare the decimal and write more than and less than. How we can compare between decimal? We studied also, we studied uh, this lesson as a primary uh, 4 and 5. Okay? This is a decimal numbers. We compare between them. Line up the decimal points. How? Yani, you know, should be um, right decimal number under each other. Okay? Uh, the tenses and hundreds are the same. Yani, uh, equivalent. Hina, uh, the tenses under the tens numbers, hundreds and under the hundreds numbers, where well, seven uh, thousands under thousands number, then we can compare between them. Compare the thousands. Okay, 4 equal 4, 2 equal 2, 7 and 5. This is the difference between them. Then, which is a, the greatest decimal number? Then, is 7 greater than 5. 7 greater than 5. Then, since 0 0.007 greater than 0 0.005, then uh, 0 0.427 greater than 0 0.425. Another example, order. Order 3 over 5, 0 0.84 and 0 0.7 from list to greatest. Yani ascending order. Now we can't, we can't uh, arrange these numbers at ascending order or from least number to greatest number um, if the, the, yani one of these numbers fractions and another decimal, no, we can't uh, order it. Change the fractions, we can't change the fraction, hmm? you write as a decimal with the same number of, the pla of places, okay, 3 over 5, Huh? If you multiply, if you want to change any fractions into this much, should be denominator equal 10, 100, or thousands. Then, which number multiply by uh, 5 equal 10, or 100, or 1000 multiplied by 2? 
the property of fractions of multiplied denominator by two should be multiplied numerator with the same number also by two. Three times two equals six, five times two equals ten. Uh, six over ten equals zero point six. But we write zero e to equivalent the number of decimal place for each e, each uh, decimal numbers. Okay. 0.84 equal 0.84. Here, if you have hundreds of digits, so here we write 0 to e to uh, equivalent the number of decimal place. By 0.7, we write 0 to e to equivalent the decimal. The hundreds of the all of them e hundreds decimal place. Now we can compare our order of this e of this decimal numbers. Uh, grab the numbers on the number line. We can use the number line to e to ordering. We have a number line from 0 to 1. Why from 0 to 1? In a decimal number, huh, less than a 1 and greater than a 0. Then, 0 0.8, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84. Then, this number is the greatest Huh? the greatest decimal numbers, okay? And 0 0.6, we 0 0.7. Then which is the list number, or the list decimal number? Compare the, compare the decimal in the order. Yani we can compare without using the uh, number line. Um, yani, uh, if we write this decimal number under each other, look at the decimal numbers, 0 0.6, Huh. This is the last, uh, the list, the list, uh, grid, uh, the, the last, uh, the list uh, decimal number, by then 0 0.70, where 0 0.84 is a great decimal number. If a 0 0.60 less than 0 0.70, less than 0 0.84, from list to greatest the numbers, 3 over 5 for a list number, 0 0.7, 0 0.84. Find the three rational numbers between two uh, fractions. This is very important example and very uh, uh, easy steps. And if we have uh, two fractions and we want to find the rational number between them, should be equivalent denominators. This is the first step your prime your prep one. Okay, should be equivalent denominators. The LCM for these two fractions is a fifteen. Then, with the same steps, 4 over 5 equal, multiply by 3 equal, huh, equal what? 12 over 5. Fine. The next fraction, 2 over 3 multiply by 5, and pause the numerator and denominator, equal huh, 2 times 5 and 3 times 5, equal 10 over 15. 10 over 15. Now the two fraction are a two fraction in a equal or equal denominator. Then we can find the three rational number between them. How? Write equivalent fractions with a 15 as a denominator. Okay, we add zero of denominator and number. This is very important steps to find the rational number between any two fractions. This is very important. Steps. We write zero in both the numerator and denominator for for, for the the two fractions. Like, huh, if, uh, for the for this fractions, then we write zero uh, for the numerator to hundred. We write zero for the denominator, hundred fifty. Another fraction. Uh, when uh, uh, how this? Yani, the same. Yani, if we write uh, the, the smallest fractions, so the uh, greatest fractions, we write zero in both a numerator and denominator. We write zero in numerator and denominator. If 100 over 150, 120 over 150. Okay? Now, we can write any three rational number between them. Any three rational number. Yani, 101 over 150, 102 over 150, 103 over 150. Okay? Mm, yani, someone maybe write. Uh, 110, 111, 112, the same, okay? If, uh, el, uh, if we want to find the rational number between, uh, any uh, number of rational number between two fractions, in the first step, you prep one, uh, equivalent denominator, equivalent denominator, okay? By multiply the numerator and denominator, 
with e with with numbers to e uh, to uh, equivalent denominators. After we finish equivalent denominator, we can put zero in for numerator and denominator, and we can find the rational number between two fractions. I hope everyone can understand uh, this lesson. Uh, thank you for good listening, primary. Uh, prep one, prep one, sorry.